Start of day two. I don't know where we're riding today exactly, but that's not much different than usual when I'm traveling with Phoenix and she does all the planning. I just get us there. It was a big night last night. I feel like some people are gonna be maybe just a little bit hungover, but a little mountain air, sure, will just clear everybody's head right up or not. Pulled over here alongside the road for a little water break after leaving town this morning. And this is one of those weird things I haven't experienced anywhere else. But sometimes you're driving and you get a little whiff of something skunky. There is ditch weed all over the place here, which just India, I'm thinking conservative, like, you know, drugs won't be there. But I mean, just like all of it's, it's right in here. Apparently, it's not good for smoking. I don't know if they're just saying that. Check out that little pink bear on Bob's bike. That is the highest honor one can have on this ride. How do you earn it? Typically by dropping your motorcycle on its side the day before. I now have the least favorite tunnel in the entire world. Woo! So glad that's done! last night which actually is a camp I think it's called the Nyara camp um, just spectacular like views sitting up here in the mountains the ride in I mean it felt like you're going straight up into the mountains uh, I just want to share a couple thoughts because today is the morning of the third day of riding and yeah so we just finished up our second day actually on the bikes and it was our first day going from point A to point B and just, I, I know I talk about riding in Vietnam a lot. The, <laughs> the motorcycle riding here is so much more challenging. The roads are narrower. We're going at a faster speed. There's more traffic and it's just way more dangerous. And last night I was kind of thinking about like, I've been trying to film so hard and it's, there's not even great spots to pull over on the side of the road and you know set up a shot let alone put a tripod down come back and then go like we're going at a steady pace with our whole group i thought we'd be moving slower but i, I wouldn't say i'm struggling but it definitely takes all of my attention to keep up with everybody and like i started saying just last night thinking about it um i'm not even gonna ride with 
the GoPro like <laughs> selfie stick for uh, most of the ride coming up here unless something changes. There's just there's no guardrails and I when I wasn't filming yesterday I kind of got a little squirrely um, when things got tight with a car and that was a little bit of a wake-up call but it's just been awesome if anything it was undersold how uh, how intense this can be I'm glad it's living up to that I mean that's why everybody's here I'm just it's been great so far and excited for the next leg of this thing all that stuff being said and on a less serious note nobody else is up right now so I guess I'm gonna just go hang out with dogs and cow they're my only friends this morning We're having an international summit on politics <laughs> with all countries involved. So at this point, Finney reminded me I should go for a little tour of our room, <laughs> let you know what that looks like. I don't need to start talking about Trump and that stuff at seven in the morning. This is what our camp room looks like. We are back to the like wet room style bathrooms that we sit all around Asia of course and you just take a shower and water goes everywhere but you got a squeegee so hey that's fine. I did not use the bucket option. I mean you can. There's a, there's a bucket and cup option for the shower but I guess that's when there's not too much water around. Last night was easily the best night of sleep I've gotten since I got here. Accommodations have been awesome so far. I just like all those little quirky things that always pop up with these places as you're going around. So I'll continue to share that. Just a few k's after leaving the camp this morning, Ride has like a tea guy in town here. And uh, as much as me and Finney don't typically do organized tours, it's definitely one of the advantages with this because otherwise this is not a place that you'd ever stop or think to like go into, but uh, just awesome little stops along the way. we came here.
walking through the mountains here. Uh, not trying to use the GoPro all the time and my hand is letting me really concentrate on the drive, which I definitely needed. Just being able to enjoy it more. Hey Matt, since Finney's not here, could you explain where we are so I know? All right, so uh, we started here. Last night we spent the yeah. night at Shoja. We went over the pass and we're somewhere down here at this point. I haven't seen a junction down to Shinra. That's about as much as I get, can guess at. <laughs> about a hundred percent more than I know. So <laughs> Finny, I found somebody to level in for you in the meantime. Little nugget of information for all our non-motorcycle riding friends who might be watching. Motorcycles tend to go toward wherever you point your eyeballs. It's kind of magical really. Well, it makes steering really easy most of the time. It becomes an issue when you're trying to take in the beauty of all these cliff sides. Wait a second, why put a pause on the beautiful mountain road footage to share this? Well, it's kind of morbid to stop and film it. It really is a glass half full, half empty situation, isn't it? A lot of people may just see a dead cow carcass. How sad. Today, I saw the happiest dog in all of India. Good boy. Hank, where are we? Rampur. 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 Sort of the general Rampur. town. This is Saran. Okay, Saran. Saran yeah. Yeah. Incredible, incredible day of driving. Just like we saw our first accident today, which I'm sure I showed earlier, but just <laughs> from thinking that the system always works here to seeing that it doesn't always, it was kind of a wake up call for everybody riding around. And then just like <laughs> dead cow that you smelled before you saw it. That, dog just mowing down on that cow. A monkey out of nowhere. I, I should have stopped for the monkey. Next time. That's Ed inside. He's from Ireland. He's living up to the stereotype. <laughs> Good job, Ed. Do that answer. Cheers. Right, another day, another random accommodation. Wait, look at this. Well, <laughs> can't win them all. <laughs> I think we both know where I'm gonna be sleeping for Bob tonight. <laughs> all right, well, the bed situation's a bit unique. It's still fine, still fine. What else do we have going on? Hmm, oh, I'm sure there, oh yeah, there's like master switches for everything here. Wait, it's already on. All right. Hey, guess what? The buckets are back. I'm sure that we'll get power to our room eventually. That doesn't even matter though, because check this out. Please, go check it out. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this is the honeymoon suite. How lovely. How do we determine who gets baby bear bed? How could we get a honeymoon suite? Look at that. Look at I'll, that. I'll take that little bed. <laughs> Wait, I think more than the uh, size of the bed that's important, I think this matters more. Okay, 
normal. I'll, I'll take that. I'm good with that. What? No, I'm good. Oh. Okay. And firmness, that's, that's normal. That's like Vietnam. This is like a plank. <laughs> I'll take that one. No. Seriously, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Somebody's not pulling rank as the father here. You're going to do I'm a not. coin toss? We're doing this. All right. This is for the big bed. Heads is the big bed. Okay. So Jail. you you get the you get the big bed for head. Wait. No. Okay. If it lands heads, you get the big bed. If it lands tails, I get the big bed. Okay. The coin is in the air, and the coin is. Uh, yeah. You get the big bed, and Woo. Tim Deemer gets the big bed. <sighs> Good dog. Good dog. Do you know Pepper? Do you know Pepper? Okay. 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 Yeah. Good dog. Wait. Oh. Oh.